Um, well, uh, a couple things. So what's going to happen is I'm going to have the... Any of you that sent me your article reports already, I know some of you were kind of trying to stay on top of it. Um, the week before, before I realized we were going to be out, I was like, hey, next week we're going to set up the blog so you can do your article report. So you're off the hook in terms of having to have it due by now because I'm going to show you what we're going to do with it collectively to make it fly. And um, so... What I'm going to do is I'm going to message you now, and I want you to hit me back with your individual UNLV email. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to um, s collectively be using the same blog. So I know we talked about having you guys generate your own blog, but looking at the fact that you're only going to do like four or five of these article reports was like, well, it's kind of wasted if we're really – we're focusing our attention on social media on a weekly and on daily. We're going to use the blog as kind of a means to facilitate that, but it's all going to be a collective group effort essentially. So what's going to happen is you're going to send me your email. I'm going to make you an author on this group blog. What you're going to do is if you already had your article ready in hand, you're going to um, post to the blog, not now, this week, right? Due by next Monday. You're going to post to the blog with the link from where the original article came in, and then your thoughts, the, that one pager of your thoughts. Pretty simple, right? So um, easy way to do it, my suggested way to do it, drafted in Word or in some sort of Word doc kind of style so that you can save it, proofread it, spell check it, and then drop it into the blog, and I'll show you how the postings work. It's really, really simple. Um, let me message you real quick. Yes, sorry. That's for attendance. I know you were like, what was this sheet for? <laughs> okay, so you guys will hit me back, but um, I won't actually need to, I won't send this, a, like, just hit me back now, get it back to me now, but I will ac uh, activate this for you tomorrow sometime. So I'll be looking to about by Wednesday, be able to drop that stuff in. It will be due by Monday, and if you get stuck, you can message me, and I'll, I'll either send you a video of how to do it or, or whatever. But I'm going to walk you through what it's going to look like right now. So um, let's see. Where is this? Oh, yeah. So we're going to use a very simple blog site uh, called Blogger. I'm not sure if anybody – bless you. I'm not sure. Has anybody ever used it? I mean, I've used it for years, but it's kind of – it's kind of um, – easy version of WordPress. It's all done through Gmail. It's really simple. So what's going to happen is, is in, is when you log in, once I activate you as a member, when you log in, you're going to hit the apps button in Gmail and you're going to go to more and you'll see a thing called blogger. You can also just Google it if you weren't sure. Um, but essentially this is, you get direct access to once you're in it, you just have to log in and go in. You'll get direct access to what the blog looks like. This blog's called Music Business with Vince. It's really simple. This is the back end of the blog. So the back end of the blog is really boring looking, but it's it's quite simple. All you're going to do is go to where it says posts, right? Or you could literally just hit new post here at the top. You're just going to type in a post, and you're going to enter your post title. Your post title will be... Essentially, um, I don't want you to actually copy the article title. I want you to kind of paraphrase the article title or in your own words. Like if the, if you, if the article that you read, so like you're doing like a report on, a, on an article. If the article that you read was, you know, um, about what's happening with the music publishing for R. Kelly. I know something that we had talked about a couple weeks ago. Um, if the article's title was you know, whatever, you essentially generate kind of your own. But what you're going to do is at the end of it, you're going to put by your name. Make sense? So like, um, let's just say, for example, like I was going to, I was reading an article about um, the, uh, whatever happened to neon trees. Neon trees. Question, question. Right by my name. Okay. 
And then literally you're just going to drop in your article here, blah, 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 blah. And the cool part about all this is if you haven't really been blogging, you can actually schedule your blogs. You can do a lot of different things. You can actually like put a, a, a geolink to where like your blog location is associated with. There's all sorts of cool stuff you can do with it. The only downside to that is, is I don't want you necessarily messing with this and accidentally scheduling your blog post to go late. So just make sure you don't accidentally schedule your blog post for any delayed date. Like literally just set it up and fire away. Does that make sense? So all you should have to do, you can't, if you're any good at HTML, you can do all sorts of cool stuff with HTML. You can add images, video, all that kind of stuff. But my goal is to have your writing, your views, your thoughts in here. Now here's the catch. This is live and it'll be public. So the goal is just, just to make sure that whatever you have to say, you're comfortable with being out there in the real world. No one's really going to find it, in truth. Um, if you've ever been on the internet or had your own website, you probably realize that like you're like this small in this giant big ocean of things. So unless someone was looking for something, you know, by Darian, full name, right, they're probably not going to find it. But in truth, just make sure that you're posting stuff that you're comfortable with. So, you know, no no weird, like, you know, F you professor kind of things up on the blog. Um, obviously, I'll see it. Once you're done, you literally just, you can save it if you're not ready to publish, but you're literally just going to publish it. If you need to preview it, you can, you know. Um, but, I mean, this, this, this is it. You just go publish, and there you go. Now, from this point, at the very bottom of the label, you can save you blog. Now, I, I haven't set this all up. So I'm going to move around a little bit of this, but in turn, because it kind of looks a little crazy, um, but in turn, this is basically what it would look like. It would be your info here, your article here. Make sense? Now, the cool part about this is I've never had any two students in the five years or whatever that I've been teaching music business, no two students have ever done the same article. They've never even remotely come close. So I wouldn't worry about any of that, but you know, if you want to peek at other people's work and see how they're doing, it is the reason I wanted to do this is because two things. One, when we use the um, forum sites internally on things like Canvas or Blackboard, they're ridiculously self-serving, and the only people that see them are you. And most people just go in there and kind of read each other's, copy off each other's, and then post their, you know, additional thoughts. I don't know if you've ever done the forum uh, chat sites inside of it. They're just really stupid because in the end. No one ever gets to see it except me. It's kind of a waste of your work, right? Makes sense? My thought was, why don't we do this? Because then collaboratively, you can look at each other and go, oh, wow, this is cool. I like what they did. Maybe I want to do something like this. And you can encourage each other. You guys will be on the same feet so you get to see it. Plus, it's out there in the real world. So like, it, the goal of this is like, if you wrote a really cool article and you like it, since you're already in your social media zone, you can share it via your social media space. Does that make sense? Now, from me to you, so that you understand how this works, there will be, um, on this site, in this space, there will be no ads, there won't be any, like, monetary anything, okay? So, like, funds and money will not be taking, exchanging, uh, or, or, you know, shifting places here. There will be no transactional kind of things on there. Does that make sense? So, like, the idea of this is to build this community of, hey, I'm writing my articles, so why not make it worth something and actually like write a real article review or an article thought. So you're basically not just summarizing the thing that you read, you're also commenting on other things that might go along with it. So in truth, instead of maybe just doing one article, you could also cross-reference the information in that article from some other source of information to provide a little more background. Now, I'm not trying to make it overly complex. In truth, it's still a one, it's still a one page blurb. Normally it was one, one page double space. Now, since on a blog, double space is gonna look dumb. In truth, I mean I'll just I'll just say since your blog should have a word counter. So let's see. It should. Let me see. Maybe it doesn't. Most of them do. Uh, worst case, I'll just say. You know, if you could get, in truth, it, I mean, if you could give me 300 words, I'd be super happy. Now, it, 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 the other thing is, how many of you are good talkers? Okay, how many of you are good writers? Because, in truth, if you wrote me two simple paragraphs and they got to the point and they were solid and I was like, this is cool, I wouldn't be like, oh, well, it was only 250 words. Because that's just crap to me, right? In the end, it's just all about getting to the point. Big deal here is, since you're live and it'll be public, 
You have to cite the, the article from which it came. You'll do it super simply by literally just dropping in the link. You could put it right at the top. This is the article I'm referencing. Or you could, if you've ever read any blogs where they like embed the article in the statement, you could do it that way too. Um, but then if you're going to do it that way, recite it at the bottom. All right. All you have to basically say is this info comes from an article that was that was posted blah blah blah. I'm not an English major, nor am I your English composition teacher, so I'm not all over that. I just want to make sure that you guys don't end up crossing lines at all and being in plagiarism zone. This should be fun, okay? So hopefully it's not super damning to you, and hopefully it's a little more exciting than having to write a normal paper, right? Um, this one will, the first one will be due on Monday, okay? Super clear. Um, for all purposes, what I'm going to do right now.